All right, all right, all right, y'all. Listen, I'm J.R. McNair here uh, for the Experts Corner presented to you by the Small Business Nation. Listen, I'm super excited to be here today. Um, this is one of our segments that we do. We pull on uh, a great uh, person in our community. We consider an expert in their field. And we just kind of talk to them about really, you know, what they do, who they are, and really giving some advice really to small business owners on how they can use their area of expertise or get better in their area, right? You know, so if it's uh, if I pull on a subject matter expert in marketing one week, we'll be talking about marketing with them, just getting some tips, some highlights, some 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 key things that they can um, you can actually apply during your week. Um, um, today specifically, I have a great person, uh, super excited uh, to, to introduce y'all to Olivia Lawson of Flow VAs. She's amazing. Um, actually, um, we actually did an entrepreneur spotlight with her. And, and, and she was so I was so impressed by her that we actually ended up uh, hiring her own to do some work for us. So we're just super excited to have her in. Um, she is doing some amazing work, helping small businesses all across the nation get their stuff together and help them get right so they can push forward and make some money. Because, you know, what we focus on is helping people to make money in their business. So I just want to uh, welcome Olivia Lawson. How you doing, Olivia? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Thank you, JR. Most definitely. She, she's here with us, guys. I, You know, one of the things that, um, you know, um, I, I, I love uh, about Olivia is that she can kind of take some of these complex things, you know, in administration and things of that nature, kind of break them down on a, on a simple um, uh, place. So uh, but before we get into all of that, just tell the people who you are, like where you're from and what got you into this uh, great thing, uh, helping small businesses. Yeah, thank you for the intro. Um, my name is Olivia Lawson. I am the owner and founder of Flow Virtual Assistant, um, and I can be found at flowvas.com. Um, I was born and raised in Seattle, grew up there my whole entire life, and then recently moved to Chicago. And so just quickly how I got into Virtual Assistant is that once I moved to Chicago, um, I had a remote job, and once I moved here, I was laid off just, you know, during the period where they were doing all of the tech layoffs. And so I was laid off from my job, freshly to, new into the city, um, and I needed money to live. So I was um, just looking at different, I, of course I was applying to jobs. So I was looking at different ways to make money. Um, and I have a pretty diverse range of skill sets just because I've been able to work in different industries um, my background is in public health, but I've worked in different aspects, so like event planning, program management, coordination, um, and I learned that I can quickly learn skills, and also I've picked up many skills along the way. So I've learned different softwares, I've learned um, different organizational skills that I've seen with different companies, mm -hmm. um, and then also I just, whenever I can, I just like to help um, I've helped uh, pop-up shops for small um, businesses, small clothing businesses. I've helped out with um, boxes that you can send out to people with different um, goods. And so I realized I just like helping people. And so um, I, I could use those skills to somehow make money. So during the pandemic, I started on, um, I can't remember the website, but it was a website where Upwork. So I started on Upwork. It's basically a gig website and you can post your skills there and bid um, for jobs. And so I had gotten a couple jobs um, just around like business management and then event planning and project management. And I was like, I could do this on my own and work directly with people. Um, luckily, like through that journey, I found a lot of interesting people who also had small businesses. Um, and so during that time, I had a small business of my own. I had a car rental business and then I had a notary business. Um, wasn't a huge passion of mine, but I did learn some, um, I did learn like ways to run a business. And I was like, oh, um, this would be a great support to the people that I know. And within the community, I know a lot of people that are starting businesses. I mean, when I was younger, I don't remember this wave of um, entrepreneurs. I mean, maybe I was young. I just didn't it, it see wasn't, it. It wasn't. It wasn't a wave. Yeah. It just got a game. <laughs> yeah. So there's like this big wave of entrepreneurs, but also 
that comes with a strong learning curve. Mm -hmm, and, totally. you know, if you're like me and you work full time and then you also um, have a side business and maybe just adult responsibilities um, and everything else that just comes with life, you're going to need support some somehow, some way. So I thought, OK, well, I can use my business to then push and propel other businesses by taking basically giving their time back, you know, mm -hmm. like certain tasks you don't need to do everything on your own like i wanted my business to be almost like a partnership um mm -hmm. i know a lot of virtual assistants they say they'll give you a virtual assistant from like another country and then you'll mm -hmm. just work with a random person and that's it whereas my goal is to really be like your partner in this um how can totally. i support you how can i propel you towards success um and even support like, how can you be a support to my other clients? You know, is there overlap somewhere? Is there businesses with that I work for that can work together? And so that's really just my goal. And I mean, I got there through just being unemployed and having to figure something out. Yeah, um, but then realizing is the mother of invention. Yes. Got to make it happen. Yeah. Yeah. That's amazing. That's amazing. So, so now, like, I, I want to. I really. Um, want to i want to show the people your site this was uh i want to just y'all just to kind of just kind of roll with me i want to kind of show you guys um her website and then you kind of just walk through you know the site um uh, with us so that so that we can see it you, you see this Olivia? yes i can see it okay cool so this is the um uh, uh top of the website here and you guys can kind of see um, unlock the flow of your business, simplify, streamline, scale. Uh, it just talks about maximizing your productivity with a virtual assistant. Uh, um, um, so, so let's talk about that. Maximizing mm -hmm. your productivity with your virtual assistant. Um, how can I be more productive with a virtual assistant on my team? Yeah, um, maximizing your productivity is something that is going back to getting your time back. Um, when you start a business or if you're doing a side business, you might not be an expert at everything. So working with me, I do have skills that I've built up throughout the years, like organizational skills. We can build out systems for you um, within your project management tools. So that way um, you can have a system set up and it can save you so much time. Um, you can even give us like like the tasks that you can give us ranges, you know, you can give us admin tasks or a full project management project from start to finish. And that way you can focus on making more money, like expanding your business, expanding your reach. And we can take on um, just like the admin tasks, um, light social media work, project management work. I think it's listed there under my services. Um, just the everyday things I can take on and then you can open up that brain space to do whatever else you need to do. Most definitely, most definitely. So, you know, what I want to do is I want you to, and this is what we um, do here in the expert corner um, is, you know, we have an opportunity to get you in and just kind of ask you some questions and some tips because there's a lot of us, we out here, you know, yeah, I mean, first off, I, I would love to hire a VA, but, you know, I may not have the budget right now to hire a VA, right? So what can I do right now as an entrepreneur? I'm stressed the mess out. And, um, you know, I'm trying to just get my business to the point where I can start making some money, but I feel like I don't have enough time. Where do I start? Like, what can I do to get myself organized in a place where I can feel like I can take back some of my life? You know, talk about it. That's a good question. Um, I mean, it definitely depends on how you operate. I would say the first thing is to just get everything down, either on paper, on a website. I use Notion for a lot of my stuff and just brain dump everything. Sometimes it feels like a lot if it's just in your head, um, but maybe just get everything. That's the first step. Just get it all down and then um, categorize. What are things that you can delegate? Even if you can't delegate to someone right now, what is something you can? What are things that you can take on? What are things that you can break down in pieces? Um, and then I also am building out some tools right now for small businesses to help, um, more like organizational tools that they can use within their business. Like, so what? like templates. Oh, like templates? Um, yeah, like templates they can use within their business to help them get organized. So that's something I'm building out right now because I've noticed that even with 
my clients that even with a virtual assistant, they still are juggling a lot. Um, so I, I keep thinking of ways to make it as easy as possible um, to work with a virtual assistant, even if you don't have one, at least just have everything written down and then categorize. You might not be able to have the funds to do it right now, but um, at least know what you have on the table and then you can always make a plan. That's that's what I always say. I will so break up. No, totally. Like brain mm -hmm. dump, write the vision down, write the stuff down so you can see it. And once you have it down, you talked about organizing it. What do you mean by organizing it? Talk me through that. So I would say once you have your brain dump, I would break it into categories. Um, you have your whole list of everything in there and start categorizing it by um, what's urgent, what can wait, and then what can, what is like right in the middle. And then I would also break that down into, let's look at the urgent category. What in the urgent can you delegate? Mm -hmm. You know, maybe there is someone in your life or someone in your community or someone that you can be connected to where you can work together and, and get that need fixed. What are things that you can do on your own, but it just feels overwhelming? And can those things be broken down into pieces? So start categorizing things, putting names to things versus having it in your head and being overwhelmed. Um, I think that that'll help too, because visually then you can see what's what's going on. Totally, totally, totally. So I'm so I'm putting it down. I'm I'm organizing the stuff. So and because even if you even if I'm getting ready to hire a virtual assistant, I need to know what they need to do, right? So so when I'm um, so what would if 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 I'm right now and I say, hey, you know what? Uh, if, if it's virtual assistant, if it's my first hire, what do you think are probably the, 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 the easiest things to pass off to somebody else? I would say um, the general everyday admin things, maybe that's email management, maybe um, if you're doing e-commerce, maybe that's interacting with customers, you can pass those things off. Maybe it's um, building out... Um, like systems like spreadsheets or creating payroll spreadsheets or um, creating um, a list to keep track of vendors. So everyday tasks that you tend to do, you can pass those off easily to the VA um, depending on what system you use. But I would start there. Um, or if there is something that you aspire, like maybe you want to do, um, you want to start building a social media presence. Maybe you want to start having a database for things, um, things that you have a goal to do. So I would say between those two, like your everyday tasks that you already know that you do. And um, if you could pass those off to someone else and just think about how much time you could save and start focusing on the next step within your business. So, um, so let's just, let's just look at um, email management, the, you know, mm -hmm. in these last few minutes, like give me some tips on like on my email, right? Uh, because I know a lot of times my email be all over the place. I, I get like so many emails in. I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm just going through scanning them and really rolling from that point. Like, give give the people some tips um, that you that may be able to help them just by managing their email. What are some things that they can do to get their email under control? Yeah, depending on what you use, you can always create labels or folders. Mm -hmm. um, I think Outlook has folders, Google has labels, and you can create rules to have them sent directly to that folder. So your oh. email is not just, I mean, if you're overwhelmed by the number, uh, mm -hmm. then maybe that might be a good way to start categorizing things. Just have a and it'll, And up. it can go directly into that email? Yeah, it can go okay, directly. So does it automatically it. do it or, like, or do you have to like make it do it? You have to make it. You'll create a rule within whatever system you use. Okay. Um, to have it sent directly there. So that's one way to start clearing it up and get the number down. You do still okay. need to check the folders, but okay. it yeah, is but, a way to get no, organized. But that's good because I had folders. Somebody, one of my people in the past created me some folders. Mm -hmm. and But I don't know if they're going to the folders or they just, when they got in there, they organized it and stuck them in the folders. So that's, but you have to make it go to the folders. Yeah, you got to make it go to the folder. And then the other tip I'll give is you can either um, star or pin things. I think Outlook, you can pin things to the top. So mm -hmm. if it's very important, you have to reply to it. You can flag it and pin it so it's right there in your face. Because that's mm -hmm. how I am. I need to see it or else I, I'll forget. You'll forget, um, yeah. Yeah. So that's another tip. 
Well, no, that's great tip. So mm -hmm. really uh, creating these folders and not just creating the folders, but giving it some kind of a rule of automation to make sure when it comes in that it goes directly to that folder. OK. Yeah. And then also the important things that we um, need to um, have, uh, um, you know, replied to or very important tasks to pin at the top. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so that we can make sure that we do it. Because I know, man, you know, it's so crazy. Um, um, you know, some of the things, especially when you're someone like me that, you know, you have a lot of responsibilities, a lot of people that you have to attend to, family members, employees, business partners, clients, all these things. You know, when, when sometimes I can get hundreds of emails a day. And so, you know, uh, to make sure that you prioritize the most important things, pin them at the top, okay? Yeah. And so- so, so no, listen, you've given us some, some, some great tips, just, just getting ourselves together, uh, uh, put, get the stuff out of your head, data, dump it, dump it, you know, organize it into the, into the right areas, just to make sure that we know um, those specific things, you know, some of the, um, some of the areas that if we're bringing on somebody like an admin or a virtual assistant, you know, give them the, the low hanging fruit, those admin tasks, organizing emails, things like that, specifically speaking on the email, um, showing us to create those folders, okay, um, mm -hmm. that will help to categorize like here, here is only stuff um, with um, about parking or this is something about the kids school or whatever, right? Creating those folders and then not just creating the folders, but creating an actual automation that when the, when it comes in, that it actually in that is actually goes to that particular folder. And so, um, and, and, and um, uh, those were, you know, some of the pieces that I miss anything else. No, that's everything. You got it. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. so, so those are some great tips, you know, um, and, and I'm glad you were able to uh, come in and, and help us. You know, you guys can um, find out more. Uh, Olivia's going to join me again next week. We're going to be talking about some other specific things that are going to help you to get it done. You can find her at flowvas.com. That's F-L-O-W-V-A-S dot Come okay, check her out. If you want to send her a direct email, send an email at info at flowvas.com. Check us out here next week. I'm JR McNair. This is the expert corner. We're super excited. Thank you, uh, uh, Olivia, our, our resident uh, administrative expert here. I thank you for coming in, helping helping the people, and uh, I look forward to people uh, uh being able to reach out to you, help them in the near future. Hey, thank you. Okay, y'all. Hey, y'all take care. Make it happen and let's get some things done.